what is the impact of slander on those who say it, and what is the impact of slander on those that are spoken of? In other words, how slander affects those who say it and the ones that it's talking about. As much as I learned the wisdom Kabbalah and I started studying it in 1975 or so, maybe 76, I never heard slander in the sense that it is explained ordinarily, religious or secular. Because there is no such thing. We don't need to correct our tongues. There's the covenant of the tongue, covenant of the light, covenant of the eye. But how can we stop ourselves from speaking badly if our heart is evil? And if our hearts feel good and, ha and aim well for others, how will we not speak well of them? So we need to correct our hearts, not what I utter. I need. Do I need to be a, 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 a solicitor and so sophisticated so no one will be able to punish me, not even the Creator? Yes, the more I can twist everyone, including the upper force. I'll, so I don't say a bad word without correcting the heart. How is that possible? So in the end, all these corrections bring the correction of the heart, the correction of the desire, the correction of human ego. That's why Kabbalah talks about correcting the desire. And that's it. We just need to correct our desires from the intention for myself, called egoism, to the intention for others, called love of others, giving, by which we resemble ourselves to the Creator. And then the slander and uh, all the, prob the other problems we have in our relationships, all of that will disappear. You don't need to worry so much about that. You need to worry about the correction of the heart. That's what we need. And the tongue will be corrected accordingly. <laughs>